What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're doing a lot of these end of year best of videos slowly throughout the month and I pick up a lot of rack store fragrances randomly throughout the year. Sometimes I go to the rack stores and there's nothing. I end up deleting the footage because there's just nothing there or there's a bunch of stuff but it's all all the decent stuff I already have. So there could be more rack store videos guys. Trust me I film a lot more in the rack stores than you guys ever see. There's just sometimes it ends up not being a full video because there ends up being nothing there. But these are my 10 personal favorites that I did pick up this year from the rack store. Some TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, Dress for Less, Burlington, Beals, wherever. But they came from the rack stores. So let's talk about them. Stay tuned. Let's start things off with this year's Summer Flanker from the CK1 Summer line that was hitting Burlington pretty hard. CK1 Reflections. Musky green, bright citrus. I strictly wear these fragrances in the summertime, so I haven't touched it in a little while. Uh, same thing with Summer Days from the previous year. I mean, they're always good. As long as you go into this with an open mind on, I'm not going to get a lot of performance out of it. It's a very specific purpose. Refresher, bright, airy fragrance. As long as you understand what you're getting into, these are great pickups around 20 bucks every year. And this one is a great pickup. Because it's so bright, zesty, and fresh. These are really invigorating when you spray them. So I'm always here for the annual summer release in the CK1 Summer line. This year, they just kind of switched it up. Instead of calling it a CK1 Summer Flanker, it's called CK1 Reflections. Now this is one that I had slept on for years and I kept seeing it at the TJ Maxx once I moved here to Florida and I finally gave it a chance and I'll be damned, it's one of the better f fragrances from Salvatore Ferragamo. This is Atimo, Atimo, I don't know exactly how to say it, but if you like woodsy, warm, spicy and a little powdery, you'll probably like this one. Look at that atomizer too. <sighs> Dry, woodsy, warm and spicy, ambery. Great evening fragrance. Year-round, but better in the fall and spring. I would say the transitional seasons where it's a little crisp and cool outside in the evenings. Maybe not cold or hot, somewhere in between. This is a this is a pretty good fragrance. Like, I kept passing it and passing it. And I was like, ah, screw it. It's still here. They keep having a few bottles. Let me give it a shot. I'll be damned. One of my favorite pickups from the rack store this year. Really a standout because I do like my woodsy, warm, and spicy fragrances. And this is absolutely that. One of the best rack store finds I've had this year. Salvatore Ferragamo. Let me get it to focus real quick. That would just be great. Come on, meow. And there we go. Salvatore Ferragamo. Atimo. Now, this is not for everybody, but I got excited when I came across it. It genuinely smells like chewing gum, like Big League Chew. I love it. Toy 2 Bubblegum from Moschino. I quite like it. Just because it's a pink bottle doesn't mean it smells like a girly fragrance. It smells like bubble gum. And some guys, some overly, you know, only wear a barbershop fragrance. Because I've seen comments. Where it's like, who would guy wants to smell like bubble gum? Look, fragrance is about enjoying scent and personal expression. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. Uh, don't criticize, pimpin. Okay? Because I love the way this smells. And, uh... It's a confidence thing. Maybe you're just not confident enough to wear it. Don't push your insecurities on me, pimpin'. But it smells like Big League Chew. A little bit of rose. Kind of a fruitiness to it, if you will. But a straight up like pink bubble gum. Like a wad of Big League Chew. Or um, you remember the pink bubble gum that was like the measuring tape? I forgot what it's called. That kind of bubble gum. Like, it doesn't hold its flavor for long because you don't hold that scent for long. Like, it's very realistic and true-to-life form of most pink bubble gums. Um, quite a fan. Moschino does these kooky, wild fragrances sometimes that off the beaten path. And, you know, Toy 2 bubble gum is nothing different from that. Like, because they, they're so different, they, they continue to walk their own path. Um, and I appreciate that. It's... Very situational, not something I want to wear all the time, but when I'm in the mood for something just quite random. Moschino Toy 2 Bubblegum is good for that, and it's one of my favorite rack store pickups of the year. Basically smells like Hugo Reverse with some minty green freshness. It is Hugo 
Reflective Edition. This was hitting the rack stores pretty hard early in the year, and uh, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. A lot of grapefruit and woods. Like I said, it smells like reversed with this added like minty green cypress freshness. It's quite good. If you find this one out there, as most Hugo Boss fragrances, man, you, you find this out in the wild for 25 bucks or whatever, it's a solid pickup. It absolutely is, just like Hugo Reverse, just like Hugo Ice, just like uh, insert name of Hugo Flanker, basically. They're all pretty good for the most part. Hugo Extreme, the original Hugo. I mean, they're all good. Hugo Now, that's a really good one too. So you come across them. They're safe blind buys for the most part. Just know you're going to get kind of average performance. They're not going to you know, be remarkably unique, but they're going to be fresh, enjoyable, something you can wear every day if you don't want anything challenging or out the norm. And that's kind of where this is at. Juicy citrus, minty fresh greens, and soft woods. You can't go wrong. Hugo Reflective Edition. Now this is basically like a tropical fruity dominant opening to Stronger With You. That's how you can look at it. It's Christian Ren Christian Ronaldo, ah, Cristiano Ronaldo, tongue twister, I couldn't say it. CR7 Game On. Great performer, too, for what it is. Around 30 bucks for this 100 ml. I believe that's what I paid at Burlington. Great atomizer, and it smells like a fruitier take on that beautiful, sweet, spicy, roasted chestnut, cinnamon dominant, um, Stronger With You original, Stronger With You EDT DNA. This is a great pickup. It's basically that on a budget. It smells like Strong With You EDT with an enhanced fruity top note. You can't go wrong here. You really can't go wrong here. Six to eight hours in longevity is kind of the window and where it falls for me. I'm not saying you will or won't get that, but that's kind of where it's been for me. I've recommended this one a few times. I think this was a rack store darling for me to find this year. It's Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7, game on. Citrus, mint, and woods. You just can't go wrong with this line from Antonio Banderas. This is Radiant Seduction. Radiant Seduction has a beautiful citrus note and some grapefruit, I believe. And I think there's some other citruses, but grapefruit stands out a little bit of mint, some woods, a hit of patchouli. It's nothing crazy, special, and unique. It just smells really good. You can get it super cheap, get a decent sized bottle. I just enjoy it. I really enjoy it. It's kind of a creamy patchouli is what I get from it. A little bit of a woody nuance, I believe is cedar. I don't think it's sandalwood. I believe it's cedar, if I rem remember correctly. With some grapefruit and mint. It's simple. It's to the point. You're on a budget. You want to pick up something affordable that you can just, you know, have a smile put on your face when you spray it and smell it. Of course, not going to perform that well. Three, maybe four hours in longevity is what I experience. But I continue to enjoy these. Uh, this, this was one of my favorites that I got. I got several from... Um, from Antonio Banderas this year, but this is the one that I found in the rack stores, and uh, I had just gotten other flankers in the line, and I'm here for it. So Radiant Seduction in Black from Antonio Banderas, definitely one of my favorite rack store finds this year. S the opening smells pretty much just like red tobacco, then it dries into a powdery vanilla. That's where it departs greatly from the DNA, but for 15 bucks, Monarch Red Tobacco Vanilla, there you go, 15 bucks, loose bottle, this is a phenomenal rack store find. Performance is actually pretty good too, six to eight hour range. It has that kind of pungent, uh, very sweet and intensive, slightly earthy opening to red tobacco. It's not exactly the same, but it's clear, not just from the bottle, from the smell. It smells like red tobacco, great atomizer. Oh man, it really does. This is such a good smell. It smells like a cheap version of red tobacco, which nailed it, you know, that's what they were going for. And then the vanilla part of the name. It does dry down into a powdery vanilla. So if you like powdery vanilla fragrances, you will like this. It doesn't stay true to red tobacco the entirety of the time. But it's a solid performer. It's pretty loud. It's 15 bucks at the rack stores. I would strongly encourage you to check this one out. And it's going to be a loose bottle 9 times out of 10. So you can pull the cap and try it. I mean, this had been sprayed. So I was able to try it on my hand. I actually did a first impressions in the store and put the video out. And... Man, I'm glad I picked it up. It's definitely one of my favorite rack store pickups this year. Monarch Red Tobacco Vanilla. Maybe my favorite rack store pickup of the year because it smells like Prada Lone meets Armani Code in many ways because it's got this soapy, powdery iris smell, very fresh uh, with a little bit of this powdery, sweet tonka bean feel from the Code DNA. A little hint of spice and woods. It's Davidoff the Game. This is a great entry level like soapy iris fragrance. That's kind of how I view it because it's not what can be expected from the crazy waxy lipstick makeup smelling 
designer irises. This is a very safe play. If you want to get kind of a slight idea of what you can expect from a you know a basic iris is kind of how you can look at it. This is a good good option. Very easy going. There's a little bit of depth to this one. It's not linear. It's not the same fragrance from start to finish. I paid like 20 bucks for this. It's a stack of poker chips. Love love the theme to it. Um, it smells really good. Like I said, it smells like a hint of Pratolone mixed with a hint of Armani Code. And you get David off the game. If you see this one out there, it's a worthy pickup. It's a great everyday fragrance for somebody to wear that I think doubles as a great evening scent as well. Possibly my favorite rack store find of the year. Davidoff off the game. So here's one that I've enjoyed wearing out the shower. I've worn to the beach. I bought this at one of the rack stores uh, in Denton, Texas, while we were in the middle of our move from Colorado to Florida. This is Tommy Bahama St. Bart's for women. I've only worn it a few times, but I quite like it. There's this sand accord, but it's still got that tequila smell, like a margarita on the rocks, that salt lime tequila from the original. It doesn't smell that far off. Uh, like, add a little bit of sweet floral to Tommy Bahama St. Bart's for men, and you get the women's. Like, it's really not all that feminine compared to the men's. Very much a unisex fragrance. I quite like it. In some ways, I kind of like this one a little more than the men's because of that light touch of sweet florals. I believe it's just flower notes, if I remember correctly, is the, is the, the accord. But it's a sweet floral smell, and it's not heavy you still get that margarita on the rock smell is the dominant thing here. So it still smells like St. Bart's, just not as warm and boozy. It's a little bit more fresh and sweet overall. I'm actually enjoying this one quite a bit. Tommy Bahama St. Bart's for women. The last one, I put off getting this one for many years. I had a 40 ml bottle years and years ago. I mean, I might've been a teenager when I had that 40 ml bottle. It's been a long, long time. Uh, but it's a timeless 90s classic. I'm glad to have it back in the collection. L'Odissi Pour Homme from Issey Miyake, the original. Citrus, yuzu dominant, spicy greens, a lot of greens. Underrated for how green this fragrance is with some woods. There's a lot going on, but it's all about citrus greens and woods is the main takeaway for me. A little spiced, fougerish, if you will. Um, people say it's like water now. This is kind of really strong on me. Uh, I get like seven or eight hours of longevity on my skin. Everybody's experience is different. Because even now, somebody in the comments and me, bro, I get maybe an hour and a half. I don't know what kind of skin you got. I see the most random shit in the comment sections, guys. I really do. But, hey, I'm, it, anybody that this is really weak on, I'm sorry to hear that. Because it's, it's a modern batch bottle. It performs really well on me. Really well on me. I think people romanticized the performance that we used to get back in the day. I'm not saying it wasn't stronger, but people act like one spray fills a room for 24 hours on some of these fragrances sometimes. I don't necessarily mean this one, but man, I still get really good performance. Same with Aqua de Joe. I have modern batches of Aqua de Joe. I get six or seven hours. So everybody's experience is different. Take it with a grain of salt. Try things for yourself. Just know that longevity and projection are not the exact same thing. I've learned many times with these comments when people say 30 minutes and it's gone or two hours and it's gone, they're literally talking about projection, pushing off, and people smelling it from a few feet away. They're not talking about how long they can actually smell it on their skin. So longevity and projection are two different things, guys. And longevity for me, seven, eight hour range. So let's call it six to eight hours, hour and a half or so of projection. Pretty damn good. That's right in the sweet spot for me. A timeless classic in my opinion. L'Odissi Pour Homme from Issey Miyake. Well, that is my 10 favorite rack store pickups that I've come across in 2023. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. What you guys pick up at the rack stores this year that you actually quite enjoy? I've picked up more than this, but these are the ones that kind of stood out to me as kind of like, these are the ones. These are the ones I'm going to talk about because these are the ones that I'm actually pretty damn happy to have. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of my favorite rack store finds from this year and you give them a spray now, might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.